On Friday, October 28th, Ernest Stevens Jr. was invited by the Comanche Nation to visit the Assisted Living Center in Lawton, Oklahoma. He is an Oneida from Wisconsin. He is a chairman and chief spokesman for the Indian Gaming Association. He represents approximately 150 tribe members of the nonprofit trade association. We work on uh, tribal sovereignty issues, tribal government gaming, and any way, anything else that the leadership needs us to do. So a lot of big organizations in Washington, D.C. now, and, and, and especially with the National Congress of American Indians. So those are our sister organizations that we work for and with all the time. So we're monitoring legislation, we're monitoring sovereignty, monitoring issues that could be regional or local. Any way we could help the tribes, that's our task. He said he visited after seeing the chairman in passing all the time. Stephen said they're pushing the Get Up and Vote rally in Oklahoma City with the United Tribes of Oklahoma. He said one of the main goals is to establish a middle ground. You know, for me, it's just being in Indian country. That's the blessing of my job, and to be able to look, to see all the shake hands with all the elders and get to visit with folks today, that's, that's amazing. My main purpose yesterday was to participate with all the Oklahoma leaders and doing our best to get out the vote in Indian country. And, and that's something I continue to do and always, always have done. Again, we're a nonprofit uh, trade association, so I don't pick a side and, you know, I don't tell people who to vote for. But I make sure that we get out there and get out there strong, supporting candidates who understand and respect tribal sovereignty. And then when it's all done, you know, there's a lot of candidates come in the office that either don't understand or, 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 or don't believe or, or don't agree. We, we're at their doorstep. He said he can set up the environment, but nobody is more powerful than the tribal chairman, administrator, and council. And when he saw Comanche in Washington, Stevens promised to visit. They, they come to Washington, D.C. So when, when Comanche came to Washington, I promised that I'm coming to Comanche. So this is a, a, my fulfillment of my exchange because these are the folks that make it happen. And they're the ones that allow me, empower me, and stand by the educational words we try to use in working with the government. Today, to uh, talk with those elders, uh, you know, uh, to, to talk with them and interact with them, it's just, just amazing. So, uh, you know, Chairman Umagoya is a, a, he's a, a, a dynamic leader, but more importantly, he's just like all the other old school leaders. He's in touch with his community, and he wants his community to feel the presence of Washington, D.C., and that's why I'm here. Reporting for the Comanche Nation is Natasha Mercadante.